Keep this Michael, all. Please don't hang up. My name is Donald and I'm a normal human <laughs> man. I was in a horrible bobsledding accident and now the only way I can communicate is through this text box that was surgically placed in my larynx. <laughs> The sled Why? arms had flipped over and God played a sick twisted joke and somehow flung my body faster than my sled like I was a deranged rag doll. The blade of the bobsled nearly decapitated me, slicing through almost half of my throat. The incident has not only utterly destroyed my vocal cords but also destroyed my life. The incident caused my son to have a stress-induced seizure which caused a blood vessel to pop in his brain killing him on the spot. My wife was left holding his lifeless corpse as she watched the love of her life bleed out. What? Her Why? In a tonic state. Anywho, I would like to order an extra large cheesy wheezy Hawaiian <laughs> pizza with extra bacon with a side of crazy sticks and chicken wings with a large coke. I will come by for pickup. Thank you. Dad. Oh <laughs> Why do you have that on, on the lock? I used to prank call people. With that, I used to put it through a voice to speak. And now we've prank called you, the viewers of the <laughs> Justin and Ian podcast, episode four. Wow. Coming at you. Roll the intro music that we still don't have. Do, do, boo, do, I think do. that's going to be our catchphrase. Roll the intro music that we have, still don't yeah, have. We'll never we have will, it. Well, we will eventually have it. But, but then it'll still yeah, roll. We'll still say, but we'll still say the same thing. Yeah. We still don't have intro music. And we're back. And yeah. we're back. As you can see, we're in a different location. Yep. We are. So working out the kinks of the studios and such. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I have my little notes, so let's just go through it. All right. So housekeeping before we start with the episode, this is gonna episode might run a little long just because we have a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah. Just to clean things up. Okay. So schedule wise, Tuesday we're dropping the audio. Wednesday we'll drop the video. Friday we'll drop the audio. Saturday we'll drop the video. This week for episode three and two has kind of been weird. I dropped it very late. I dropped it on the Sunday. Yeah. And I said I'll drop it on the Friday. So Editing takes fault. time, guys. Don't take it out on Justin. I'm sure you guys don't mind, but it's okay. No we're one trying really, our best. We're trying our best. Okay, number two are mics. We still have as you can still see, we still have the balls. Yeah, the we have the ball balls. mics. We're still waiting on those next mics. Hopefully by this Friday's episode we'll we have get the, the mics. New ones. Yep. Ooh, guys are crisp. They're oh, good. Oh, mic mics. etiquette. We gotta stop breathing into the mics. It takes it takes out some editing time. So yeah, we have this little blanket here. So every time yeah. we're not gonna talk, we're just gonna. So you can't hear it. Yeah, I'll try to. I might forget because it's kind of uncomfortable to. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We just gotta. If anything, we'll just. Yeah, we'll just. Or just put it down or something. Yeah. Number four. That was three. Mm-hmm. Number four. Thanks for buying all my televised hoodies. Yeah, guys, he sold out. You guys, I don't want you guys messaging this guy later saying, "Oh, I don't want to get that message either." Can I? Where can I cough? Like you could have coughed, and if you didn't, tough. Cookies. Too bad. And now, since we have nothing else Wait, to plug, yeah, let's do. plug yes, something we, new no, to plug. No, we have something to plug. Oh, something new to plug. Okay, sorry. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Follow us on SoundCloud, Spotify. Subscribe on YouTube. If we get fifty followers on SoundCloud, fifty followers on Spotify, twenty-five subscribers on YouTube by June first. I will bleach this black head of hair right here and you know for what? you guys. And you know what? If you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. We don't see you. Now we do because mm-hmm. we got a video. All right, guys. Guess what happened once again? The mics got disconnected. Yeah. And for so you. we were recording on the video. So there was more on the video, but then yeah. the audio got cut. Yeah. Well, as you can see, now I have a pillow because when we were reviewing the audio, I realized I Ian have, has a whistle nose. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of editing for Justin. I feel bad, so I'm hugging this pillow. So every time I'm not talking, I just, I just, I just do that. I, for you non-video watchers, I put my mic into the pillow. I smother it. Okay, enough time being wasted. Enough. Let's so just, before we yeah. cut ourselves off, we were just talking about the fifty, fifty, twenty-five. Mm-hmm. The bleaching. The bleaching. So remember, follow, subscribe. All right, let's get into it. So today's topic, in honor of the new. Cause announcement, Cause and Uniqlo are collaborating once again on another collection on a bunch of graphic tees and such. So today we're going to be talking about Uniqlo and Cause. Yes, Cause, the renowned artist. Street artist, would you say? Street artist. Yeah. Business entrepreneur man. He does all the things. Fashion god. He's not very fashion. I wouldn't say he's fashionable. Or works with a lot of cool. He works with a lot of cool fashion fashion people. All right, so let's get into it. So let's just give some context to y'all. Let's go. This is the fourth Uniqlo collab. 
behind, uh, behind the Sesame Street. Two, two Sesame Streets. Oh. Technically, one Sesame Street just mm. broken up into two points from uh, 2018. And then another collab, Peanuts, caused Uniqlo 2017. And then the first collab, caused Uniqlo 2016. Mm-hmm. So this collab, 2019, yeah, is just causing Uniqlo. Yeah. There's no middle, there's, yeah, yeah, there's no, no middle like, property. Noise. It's just yeah. straight up from him. Straight up from him. So it's just a bunch of tees featuring causes characters. Characters, yeah, the iconic characters. So mm-hmm. can champion? No. Companion. Yeah, I think it's a companion. Um the other guy and the other guy. The other, you know, the pink guy, the pink blue guy, guy, blue guy and then the, the gray guy. Yeah, gray guy. Cookie yeah, lots guy. of guys. Very clean, all on tees. Yeah. Traditional Uniqlo stuff. So the reasoning why we did wanted to do a cause episode is because we were hanging out one day and Justin showed me on his phone like they're doing a new collab. And uh Justin had a little bone to pick with how cause I love cause mm. and I respect the man as an artist, but I don't like these Uniqlo collabs. Yeah. I think that just as a general thing, I didn't like any of the UT, which yeah. is the Uniqlo I think it's I don't know what UT stands for, but I think the T stands for like T shirt or something. Probably. Regardless, I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah. But a lot of people do. That's a lot of people entry to streetwear, which is the main topic of this episode, which is entry street, entry level streetwear. Mm-hmm. So most of you listening probably do have a Uniqlo collab piece. Yeah. I I'm do. sure you have. I, a, I have one. I have the peanut Snoopy pocket tee. I have none of the pieces from these yeah. collabs because I did not like any of them. I lied. I liked one of them. And then I was looking at it. I'm like, it's nah. It's all right at best. It's all right. It's not even, it's all right at best. Yeah. Like I liked the Snoopy T so much and the Charlie Brown thing so much. Cause it was so, it was more subtler than how things are now. Cause mine was literally just a, a embroidered Snoopy under the pocket with causes like signature X's on the sleeve. That's about it. That's why I thought it was so hard. Yeah. It's very stupid. Simple. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, it's not that the collab, like, I don't know. I don't, it's not that I didn't like the characters. The characters are iconic and stuff, but then I don't think they do graphic tees right. Yeah. I, 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 we were talking about this when we first were introducing, when we were first discussing this. I don't think they understand subtlety and nuance with their, with their, uh, tees. Yeah. I think it's very difficult. Like a lot of people, a lot of brands, I don't think understand the graphic tee. I yeah. think streetwear brands, skate brands, they, perfected the graphic tee i think yeah. they're again one of the like originators of it or the mm. po- people who made it popular so they know what they're doing but then big brands and like, like multi yeah. corporate com- multinational corporate companies i don't think they know what's wagwan yeah. like uniqlo but i'm sure all of you people might have a piece and might be copying a piece from this cause collab and there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it no it's just personally we just don't like it i mean i'm wearing a uniqlo tee right now i'm not sure if you guys know people who are watching you can see it's from the star wars collab and it's a very big graphic <clears throat> it's very busy but i think they're trying to go for like the old vintagey kind yeah, of I 70s style. then again but those are like they're those that was a collab with artists like yeah, artists. japanese artists yeah. who are who are part of from streetwear mm. i think the guy from undercover the guy from bape nigo mm. don't quote me but i think those are the guys who did those things well wow, that's actually insane the guy from bape the guy from Bape. Yeah, well, he could be. He's not with Bape necessarily anymore. He's more with his own brand, mm. Human Made. Lots oh, of Pharrell stuff. That's yeah. him. Yep. Okay, I know Human Made. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, as we were saying before, this is a lot of entryway, like entryway for people to get into streetwear. Mm. It's really cheap, like under twenty bucks for a tee. You can even call it like pseudo streetwear. To be honest, would it's you call it pseudo emu- streetwear? I would say it's trying to emulate the same styles and the same like fit as like streetwear tees, but. They're making it more like for the masses. Was that your phone? That was my phone. Sorry. Disrespectful. Probably didn't. Disrespectful. Probably could barely hear it. You like, know what, guys? I mean? I'm it's... just making. I just want everyone to know Ian's phone went off in the recording of this. Uh, wow. Also, okay. it's kind of early. We usually record in the afternoon. Yeah. And it's it's in the a.m. right now. Right now it's 10:43 and we're recording. Yeah. I woke up like a few hours ago. I woke up a few hours ago as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's get back on this. I think it's a gateway. Like. These collabs are stupid hyped out. Mm. But then again, with like this hype, usually hype comes from scarcity. Yeah. These are not scarce. No. They're you can walk it. Like you can get, say the collab drops on next June. You could probably still get a piece. Yeah, probably. In July. Yeah. And then again, it's like, I'm 
like these things resell. You can get some. You can get some. You can make some money just from reselling some of these pieces. But then that's like, like, that's when I get a little like sketch out because like, these aren't like ma- These are pretty easy to get. And I, don't, I kind of feel bad if you're paying resale for this <laughs> stuff, guys. For yeah, especially like, like for the cos clubs. Yeah, I like I follow a lot of Instagram resellers and yeah, they flip same consider considerable amounts Amount of these than, pieces. Yeah. And I don't know. If it's, that's not you can do whatever you want, but yeah. guys, it's not hard to get these pieces. Yeah, it's not, and they're not. Honestly, I'm not trying to be rude, but like they're not necessarily nice pieces either. They're, you know what? I don't. Really you remember know. how la- last fashion episode we were talking about how Supreme has, how the culture has tailored itself to Supreme. Yeah. This is the opposite. The opposite. The company's trying to tailor itself. To the culture yeah, That's a good point And it's, it's not true. working out it I don't really think It really isn't I mean but people are buying them right People are buying them Yeah see We're in the culture We're, we're not for it We're not We don't love it We've, We're for the idea That cause can do this kind of thing Like good I think for cause good, yeah. good for cause But like The pieces that they're pumping out I'm just no. not interested in it Like there's this one T In the In the newer collection I think It's literally just his character Like printed all over the t-shirt Like from like toe to head And yep. I'm like but it's, it's yeah. so obnoxiously like it's not it's gross. weird because it's like subtle because it's like it's the companion but it's like it's really it's flush yeah uh, i don't know if we can put a picture up i'm sure we can. i'm sure well if you're watching the video if yeah. anything like you'll if you go into uniqlo your store in june you'll see yeah, like it's a navy blue high tea with that like high snobiety high snob yeah yeah shout out high snob wow but uh yeah i don't know I don't know. Like, it's crazy to think that he. It's just crazy to think that Cause can work with like Supreme, Supreme, and then go and Dior. Yeah, like something very like. It's interesting because Su- Cause back. can go is on both ends of the, the street where the the, the cultural the culture scale. He's mm-hmm. working with low level, not low level, entry level pieces with Uniqlo, but then on the other end, on his own end, he's dropping two thousand dollars sculptures. Or even yeah. on the other end, on the even more far end, he's dropping sixteen thousand. I don't know if sixteen thousand dollars, if that's how much a Dior saddlebag costs, but significantly higher pieces mm-hmm. for with Dior. Yeah. And even I guess Supreme's not as high, but still Supreme's getting his old Supreme clubs could probably reach up to the hundreds. Yeah, for sure. On the resale market. Looking at like the designs between like the twenty dollar entry shirts compared to the Supreme, Supreme collab. I would say the Supreme is cleaner. I'm not just saying that because I like I'm sucking Supreme's dick or anything. It's just nothing wrong with sucking a little Supreme pee. No, <laughs> little Supreme pee, a little Supreme, Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, like the designs were cleaner. It just it just looked better. It's like they all like all the designs just had like had a message to portray. With these, I don't really the cause. It just feels also. Like I think there's out. a little Supreme. Supreme rose colored glasses, some red box logo colored glasses. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, those be fire. Are you kidding? Like, like a visor, but it was a box. Logo. Not like not even just little supreme. Like you know those glasses that are just like. Oh, but those are instead of like the little red shades, the little yeah, box logo. Those box logo. Oh my gosh. Hard. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. Do you agree with that? Like, do you agree like with with like the supreme designs? And I haven't checked out the Dior. 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 Dior? Yeah. So Dior is. Ba- it's. I feel like the Dior is kind of on the same level where it's like a corporate thing. Oh yeah, I'm pretty. To me, the Dior brand and the Dior cost club is just a Uniqlo club up mm. on a higher level scale. What is that? Sound? That's a phone. I'm not sure if the mic's gonna pick it up. Hopefully, it doesn't pick up. I'm sure it will, but we'll figure something out. Yeah. So as I was saying, the Dior thing is like on a next scale. Mm. It's very the pieces are ah, they're different. Like so, basically, his pieces are. Very much, you could look like if you from afar, you if you didn't know they're Dior, you'd be like, Oh, they're Uniqlo. Are those Uniqlo pieces? Pieces? Oh, wow. So they're like the Dior, it's kind of like he, what he did with Sesame Street, where he gets the Dior imagery and he flips them in a causeway. Yeah, yeah, okay, I feel you. But and again, it's like similar to the Uniqlo Club, where just on tees, they're just slapped on tees, mm. little pieces. So there's some pieces that are sick with it where it's really. St- really really subtle like yeah. on the bags like if you saw yeah, you yeah. see on the the what is it ss19 uh runway like there's like a beehive bag mm. and like the bees are cosby's see okay that's hard but they're subtle that's and they're hard, like the, yeah. they're like the same color as the bag mm-hmm. so it kind of blends in and like you have to look at oh, it's a tiny really detail see, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah man i don't know that's, I, I, that's what 
every time I'm, we're gonna be a fashion episode, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna at least say subtlety is like the hardest that's, thing you can that's do. That's Ian's thing. Yeah, it's so true. Like it, it doesn't have to be extremely loud to be sick. I mean, I don't know. So that's kind of dis- disappointing to be honest. Like how how it causes it's just really loud like graphics just on a slapped on the tee. I know, and his graph his imagery is so iconic now in the culture. Considering. It really is, yeah. Like the companion, you could see it and you're like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. That's yeah, the, yeah, that's cool. But then again. You see it and you're like, oh, I know what that is. That's the thing That's from the Uniqlo Uni collab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, then again, and maybe in the cu- like in the outside in the general mainstream culture, it's been kind of tarnished because it's not it's cause not, anymore. It's, it's Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Oh, that feels bad. Oh yeah, it feels bad for I don't know. Cause. I again, I don't think he really cares. I mean, you're probably, he's probably doing got his a own thing. Paycheck for it too. You know, he's probably getting a lot of money for if it. If you look at his Instagram, there's he's doing a lot of artsy stuff. Yeah, he did a whole bunch of sculptures. He did that one thing where he like made a really big up blow up companion. He blue. does a lot of big, extravagant yeah. pieces, but then they're like not extravagant. They're just little. There is basically there is iconic characters, mm. blown up, ridiculously, yeah, large. All right, so I think wow, this is really short. We're only at fifteen minutes, and we've gone through the whole cause thing. <laughs> All right, guys, this is gonna be a interesting half episode. Yeah. So we're gonna split it up. This is the second point. Welcome to the second topic that we're just making up right now. It's Which summer day? fashion. Okay. Tomorrow is technically the first day of summer. Is it actually May? Isn't it May May twenty first? Is I that the first know. day of summer? I mean, we don't have a research assistant. To check. We don't. Oh yeah, the new studio, new no research assistant this time. So we could check. I'm pretty sure it is tomorrow. Tomorrow is it? Is it June twenty first or May twenty first? Um, it's June twenty first. Oh, well. And Justin lied. I lied. I'm sorry, guys. Well, it's coming we up. can still talk about summer fashion. The it's weather is nice outside. Ooh, so I'm let's so get excited. into it. Summer fashion. I'm this so is excited. impromptu. Hopefully, this episode doesn't sound weird. It's not our weird episode. I mean, we can kind of stay on track with cause if you wanted to. Nah, it's okay. Well, well, continuing with entry level street fashion. Mm. Let's go entry level summer street fashion. So let's talk about some trends that are. Ooh, gonna be. A, I really like summer uh, trends. I really Welcome to the first double header episode. Whoa, two heads. Technic oh, we were talking about this before, but when we have a really short amount of time and we're recording and we're just gonna do like a fifteen minute pod, we're gonna call it the itty bitty itty bitty uh, episode. Yeah. So this is welcome tidbit. to the first itty bitty tidbit. Itty bitty Justin Ian podcast. Technically we're doing two itty bitties, so it becomes one regular episode. Mm-hmm. Yo, you guys should watch the video. Like, I'm doing so much work for this video. He's doing a lot of movements. He's moving a lot. I am moving a lot. I'm trying to get you guys engaged. Shout out to the podcast, Inspo's, David Dobrik, Jeff wow. Wittick. Wow. I'm more I mean, I wouldn't say that because David Dobrik just sits in his couch and does nothing. Mm. But I'm talking about Jeff. I got my hat on. I got my white tee. I got my black pants. Shout out Jeff. I'm inspired by Steven Zaragoza. If you don't know him, you don't know him. It's okay. But Jeff Wittick, what a handsome boy. Yeah. All right. Continuing on. My summer street fashion. Let's go. My favorite, one of my favorite uh, uh, trends that came out of this or came out of summer. I'm not sure if it was spring. I don't even know when the trend came up, but it's on the up and up. Wearing like, wearing like a buttoned up like shirt that's kind of big and wearing shorts, like short shorts and like high socks. That's so hard. Like 70s gym shorts? Not 70s. Sure. Yeah, that would look sick. But even just like sweat shorts are just pretty high, like above the knee. And wearing like an oversized shirt. To be honest, so I hard. think the best kind of short is a seventies gym short, where I it's think- stupid short where you could, it's basically a boxer. <laughs> some people can pull them off, you know. I've yeah. seen some models wear them. It's pretty sick. I think it's fire. I think yeah. if you're short season, let's talk about some shorts. It's always better to go shorter than longer. I agree. Because at what at this point, like, <laughs> why would you go longer? Are you wearing pants? Like, you know, commit to the short. Commit to the short. You're not wearing pants. You want to wear shorts. I think shorts should go above the knee. Yeah, I yeah. should say half thigh. Even half thigh, I would I would say sick. Yeah. Half thigh is a solid spot. Yeah. So boys, you're, don't it's, be afraid it's short to show season. Off some leg. It's okay to show off some leg. Honestly, you can show off your what? This is the thigh. Yeah. What's this part called? No, no, this is the thigh. This Sorry. is the calf. Yo, you guys are used to showing off your calves. Yo, let's step it up. Show, Show some thigh. thigh. Let's get yeah. a half thigh. If girls, come can on, do boys. It, half thigh, gang. Let's get it. out there. Yeah, half, you won't hashtag. see me in shorts this summer, but I hope to see your thighs. Oh, I'll wear a lot of shorts. I, I love wearing shorts. That sounded really weird. Yeah, <laughs> I love to see your thighs. You know what? I- <laughs> send, send us pictures of your thighs. <laughs> all right, boys. Let's get a hashtag half thigh. Hashtag half thigh. I want to see all those thigh. hashtag half thighs. Oh, gross. <laughs> 
We are back once again. Mike disconnected once again. How many Mike disconnects to this too? Episode 50, guys. Come Episode on. Episode 50. We're going to get so good. We were talking about shorts. Yeah, we're ending off at shorts at hashtag half die. All right, let's move up. Let's get our way up upwards to the tops. Okay. I'm, I'm, oh, also, I'm happy you guys can start flexing my fucking graphic tees. It's graphic tee season, yeah. boys. Get those Supreme tees out. Get those get big tees out. Get the vintage out. out. Yeah. Get, those, Ooh, get those vintage. Get that thrift out. Mm-hmm. I'm going thrifting soon. I'm so excited. I'm going to fucking buy a whole bunch. Or, you know what? Get the Justin and Ian tees out. You got the E and T right here. I just tea. dropped the T a few season, like a few months, a few oh, weeks ago. Tea. I got the infatuation tees. Yo, pull, pull them out. Nice sky blue colorway. Mm-hmm. More tees coming from Justin and Ian very yeah, soon. Sure. I just dropped those hoodies. I'm trying to work on some soon. Okay, let's go. Continuing on those tops. It's graphic tee season, which yeah, means excited boys. You guys got to be very careful about your graphic tees. Some of your graphic tees are not elite. <laughs> like what? Like what? If you're pulling out your diesel tee. <laughs> or your or freaking what's another meh brand like a Malcor brand? Fuck. Um, I don't know. Billabong. Bill, get your. <laughs> I I mean we're not trying to be rude, but guys, you want to step it up? Shout out Unic. Although we were dissing Uniqlo a little Uniqlo, bit, okay. I'd say get your. If you want to get a graphic tee, go for Uniqlo over your Billabongs yeah, and your it's more Volcoms. It's no, Volcoms is kind of hard. Volcoms okay, yeah. Your Billabongs, your Diesels. Fuck your benches. Your, ben- your benches, yeah. Your- oh, I think bench went on business. Yeah, it did. Oh, well. All right, Whoops. boys. Tip. Tip number two. If you can't flex a graphic tee, a solid, a solid plain graph. And plain again, white tee. Plain white tee solid. Plain color tee solid. Again, hit up Uniqlo. 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 Uniqlo may not oh. be good on the collabs, but on those oh. basics, bro. Fire. fire Justin never nice. wore long sleeves ever until okay. I found a Uniqlo long sleeve and I'm like okay maybe I'm gonna wear long yeah, sleeves now I bought two of the same shirts in different colorways such a sturdy long sleeve it's a solid piece yeah. solid piece alright continuing yeah. on up mm-hmm. hats oh yeah 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 it's cap season it's cap season boys get those beanies I need a, I need, I have a put those beanies back in storage let's yeah. pull up those nice caps I have a cool. oh, how, how do you feel about people who wear beanies during the summer I don't know why I do sometimes. Why? It's hot. Your head's like... <laughs> it's like a sweat bed. It absorbs the sweat. I know, but it, it produces more sweat. It's it's both. It's counterproductive. <laughs> it is counterproductive. You're getting the sweat, but mm. the only reason why there's sweat there is because you're wearing the beanie. <laughs> wearing the be- I don't know. It just looks sick, man. It's like, wow, it's this wearing a beanie. Continuing on. <laughs> Guys, stick with your basic basic caps. Yeah. Shout out. Or maybe your sports team cats, hats. I said cats. Sports <laughs> team hat. hat on your head, guys. Yeah. It's cat season. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of vintage caps or thrifted caps. Caps are nice. Nice. Protect the sun. Get the sun out of your eyes. And it's hard. It is hard. hard. I'm wearing my dime. Shout out dime. Dime oh, MTL. Yeah. You guys should really start looking into lower. Guys, skate brands. Yes, Shout out e Drift. Shout out Blue Tile Lounge. Yes. Boys, hit them up. Mm. Solid graphic tees. Solid. solid hats. Solid everything. Like the graphic Solid tees. key. Solid everything. kicks. Next thing. Let's go back down to the kicks. Ooh, tons of low riders. Low riders with high socks. That's a new wave. Well, it's not new, but that's a wave. What? Low rider, lo, low rider uh, shoes with high socks. Low ride shoes? Oh, yo, you can't talk about the shoes if you can't talk about the pants. Let's go back to pants. <laughs> so, we'll get back to the shoes. We'll make our way down. Okay, mm. boys. What I want you to do is next time you get a pair of pants, I want you to save $20. Take your pair of pants, go to the tailor, and, and get yeah. your pants hemmed. Yeah. Cut that shit I need to down. Get my pants hemmed, so I'm always if you're them. regularly wearing a size 30, cut that to a 28. If you're wearing, if your pants stack. I mean, unless that's what you're trying to go for. No, cut the stack. You it's don't not, like, I thought you, I like, don't, you don't like stacks? I think I, I don't like stacks like flows. So if it drapes over, different story. Mm. Your pants got to do, for me, pants got to do two things. They're either draping over the kick or they're cutting it so you can see the whole kick. I would, I always, for me, I would always go cut over drape. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. I think it's easier to cut than drape because drape, you got to get the right material. You got to get the right pant. You got to get the right shoe. Shoe, yeah. It's a lot of complications. Cut is just like, that's cut a shoe. It. And you might guys, some of you guys were like, oh, what about the cuff? Cuff is for people who can't cut. <laughs> and you know what? Even for shorter guys, if you cut, you look taller. Yeah, because you're pant, because you have more, you have more, more ang- it looks weird. Yeah. If you're uncomfortable with it, try the cuff. Mm. But then if you're like, damn, it looks good. I should have listened to Justin and just cut my pants from the get-go. 
What are you doing? Yeah. Cut your pants. Maybe you can even save that 10 bucks. Ask your mom, ask your grandma. Maybe yeah, they already it. know how to yeah, cut your good. pants. Yeah. You know what you could do too? Just hem it a little longer to keep the fold in if you wanted to. And then if you want them back, nah, just, just pull them up. Just cut it, bro. Okay, I'm just saying. For those who are not ready to make the jump. Guys, you should be ready. You guys are getting your... You guys got to take leaps. Welcome to the Motivational Podcast with Justin and Ian. <laughs> Like cut your ass. pants. Cut your pants, guys. Cut your pants. Cut your pants so you can show off the fire guys, kicks. Do you want to? You want to pull some ladies this summer? Cut uh, the pants. No guarantees. I've cut in my pants for four years, and okay, we're not guaranteeing a, you can get a lady podcast. with the with the if you cut your pants. But you're gonna get some respect gonna, from you're, Greg. You're gonna you're gonna get some street points. You're gonna get some. Yo, that's respect from me. And you know, what, ladies, you can do the same. It doesn't just apply to the guys. Yeah, you, you know, be, you know, it's a great way to great look a raw ham. Yeah, I so want just to raw him so bad. Yeah, if you guys are experimenting, just yo, take a puck of, just get a really good pair of shears. Get a get a pair of dickies. Get a pair of shears. Just snip. You know what? Just I'm gonna do that with my dickies. Do it right now after this. But we'll we'll record we'll it. To, we'll record it. We'll do a little bonus bonus thing. Yeah, help me help me help me raw him in. I'll do. I'll it. do it. All right. Okay, let's continue on. Now we're back mm-hmm. back to the bottom. What starting if, from the bottom. G- give me socks. Give me, oh, I thought you were gonna oh. go. You thought we we're gonna talk about yeah, kicks. Was. We're talking about socks. Boys, for your socks, you're either gonna go no shows or high high whites. I love good high whites. A lot of fashion. If you guys, if you guys are nice and proactive in your fashion journeys, yeah, you might wanna be. You might watch a lot of fashion YouTubers, and they would always say, "Ditch the white sock." But I say, no, fuck that. The white sock only works in certain occasions. Mm. If you got a fire retro kick and it works yeah. and it's proper. White white sock is probably the only white thing. White is so clean. That's but why. there's some. Okay, I see where they're coming from. You don't want you want to get a nice clean white sock, nice mm-hmm. clean white tube sock, maybe from Uniqlo. Shout out Uniqlo. You don't want to get like those billowy kind of white socks that you see dads wear, and it's like yeah, stacked. Yeah, you want to yeah. get your things a nice clean, and clean, nice and sleek, nice and t- yeah. Guys, refresh your sock wardrobe. If you have socks from like five years ago, buck them. I bought a. I'm not proud of this. I bought a pair of socks from Dollarama. And Guys, invest in your them. socks. Yeah, invest so in your underrated. socks. I, like, look, I, I like these Converse. Socks. Converse socks, solid. Solid. Yeah. And make sure I, the way you're doing it makes your ankle look really, really funny right now. You know, to be honest, shout I'm, out the video. You got to see the video to see Ian's socks. <laughs> so what I do? So weird. Okay, so what I do? It's, it's the shirt I like. It's when you put your um, sweatpants into the sock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like doing that because when I walk, it, it it stacks the pants and it makes it look a little. Looks a little cooler. Okay, let's let's close out the podcast with the kicks. What are your go to go to kicks summer? for the summer? Justin's. If picks. you guys don't have a ch- pair Justin of Chuck Seventies, all right, let's close this out with some Justin picks. I'm gonna list ten shoes that you should have mm-hmm. if you're a guy or a gal and you want to elevate your streetwear game or your footwear game. We mm-hmm. got you. Listen up. Number one, Chuck Seventy. Oh, you fire. guys might have some regular basic Chucks, but those. Yeah. Are not what you want. You, know you want to spend the little twenty yeah. ten dollars extra, get some Chuck Seventies, more durable, looks cleaner, yeah, looks vintagey, looks classic, looks it's more classic, classic than a Chuck, and it's more durable than a Chuck. It will last say, you the whole summer. What would you? What would you Black say? or white? No, no, no. A high or low? High or low? Get the high. high. Switch. Get, you know how there's two colorways? Get a white and get white low. High white black. low high black. Yeah. All right. Next shoe. Get a nice pair of like a like a runner like a. Like Dad a, kind of shoe, New yeah. Balance. Shout out New Balance, New Balance 990, yeah, 990 V5. The Got a pair of those. Stupid comfortable. Mm-hmm. Very. It's like in between Dad shoe and like classic runner. Super clean. Let me just pull up my list of shoes everyone should have. I have it. All right. <laughs> wow, he actually has a fucking notes I do. on it. All right. Crazy. Next shoe is. Oh, let's okay. I got some two shoes. So you got so you got the Chuck 70s. Yep. High or low, black and white, black mm-hmm. or white. You got the New Balance 990. Stick to the cool gray. Next thing. Here's a shoe you don't want to get. Old schools. Don't get old schools. It's 2019. If you're still rocking old schools, that's fine. But if you're choosing to buy old schools in 2019, don't. Because my next shoe, my next shoe recommendation is a better version of it. Shout out the Converse. Converse second hit on the list one, one stars. stars one stars are so hard get the black nice long suede oh my goodness Ooh, yes. black suede with oh. a nice white star guys the colorways Ooh. the colorway for all the like 
the the one stars like the raw uh the, you know the fixed suede boys yeah those are so the yellow so fire it's like a mustard yellow the black a nice clean, clean color black. with the contrast the stitch. purple clean is a lavender a lavender perfect guys. Well, you guys you guys not might know what the one stars are but if you follow any hype stuff it's always one stars. it's the what's it called the lafleurs the oh, lafleurs are ooh, one baby, stars baby boy, so if you can't if you can't afford the resale of the one stars Shout out Converse because they still drop the regular one stars. Yeah. And one stars also ha- are in the low model. So you can, if you're not trying to, f- if you're not feeling the ties or if you want to get a van slip on, I say don't get the van slip on. Go for the Converse slip on. One I, star slip on with the you, slip with the star in the back. If you can tell, Greg's a very love Converse. Loves Converse. Shout out Converse, bro. Vans, oh, I don't know. I'm not feeling that. That could be another episode. That could be another episode. Why does Justin hate Vans yeah, so much? Yeah, why you hate Vans? All right, moral of the story, don't buy old schools. All right, let's close it out with, with a different shoe. If you got the, you've got the cheddar. Cheddar? If you got the, if you got the money. To, the bricks. If you got the $500 to spend on a white, <laughs> white leather sneaker. God damn. Shout out, Common Projects Achilles Low. If you see me before I had those white Converse, those are like, Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Like white leather Converse, those are like the clean version. There's an elevated version of that, super clean, super crisp leather with the nice. You might have seen it on on feet with some people. It has the gold print. Yes. On the yeah, heel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clean. If you have the money, go for it. If not, I guess you go. I guess you can get a set Stan Smith. I guess. Oh, whatever. If you have no, to I get don't a stand. Not get stance. A good clean Stan Smith always looks nice. Yeah, I guess if you gotta get a stand, you gotta get a stand. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close it out. With the list, the last shoe, a nice Jordan one, solid piece for anyone. Oof. I mean, if you can't cash That's out also for a the lot hype, okay. If you can't cash out for the hype resale, they recently released a bunch of mids in like that purple colorway, purple and white. There's a like pine yeah, and white. Right, yeah, yeah. If you can't cash out on the big ones. Get it on those mids. They're all right. They're not as nice as the OGs, the Chicago's shadows, yeah. breads, yeah. whatever. One of those. It's okay. They got those other mids for you. That's been Justin's picks. Socks and sandals too, guys. We're socks no, and sandals. No, 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 no. We're not doing socks and sandals. We're not talking about sockinies. <laughs> not sockinies. What are they called? Sue Cokes. Nah, I'm not feeling those. Would you rate me if I wear socks and sandals? Nope. I'm going to wear socks oh, and sandals. Oh, shout out Birkenstocks. If you're feeling Birkenstocks, Ooh, Birkenstocks go for them. Birkenstocks are actually hard. Yeah, they're hard. Just don't wear socks with them. No, no, wear socks with them. They're hard. Don't wear socks with sandals. I'm going to wear socks with my Birkenstocks. Don't do it. Don't be Ian. Don't <laughs> no. disrespect me. No, no, okay, watch. I'm going to do it and everyone's going to be like, yo, that's hard. Nah. No, nah, no, wait on it. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this double Headed. teeny weeny. Or not teeny weeny. That's a different itty podcast. Bitty. Itty bitty. Two itty bitties in one. So it's just a regular podcast. The cause episode First slash the summer streetwear episode. I think the summer streetwear episode is fire. More, I like that one better than the cause. So sorry, guys. If you're listening at the beginning and you're like, oh, guys, this is not that funny. Get you to the 15 I'll minute s- point and you can hear I'll us say this. talk about the fire <laughs> summer fits. I'll say this fire fits was definitely quicker and more on the nose. Cause was definitely a more in depth. Yeah, we thought we were going to go longer on the cause, but not. That was like the more chill and that was a ramp up. Yeah. And now we're, we hit it hard with the final <laughs> 15 minutes. All right, guys, we're going over. All right. But I think we enjoyed it. Yeah. We, it one. was a great, solid conversation. Another Justin heavy episode. I apologize. Yeah. Now me and Justin are going to go raw at my pants. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to. Oh, hold on. Let's close this out. We got to f- put in some more plugs. Yeah. Remember, follow us on SoundCloud. Yeah. Follow us on Spotify. Subscribe on YouTube. June 1st. Let's yeah. see if we can get it. Also, follow me and Ian on Instagram. Instagram. To get this bio and the, and the yeah. stuff on there. Yeah. Again, as I was saying before, we I disconnected the mics once again. We always say the important stuff at the end. Mm-hmm. So shout out if you listen to the pod all the way through. You know I rate people who actually listen to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're just two boys trying to trying to just trying to have fun. Yeah, man. Trying to make content. Trying to tell you guys, just get a give you guys an invitation into our conversations. Because mm-hmm. you can be our third friend that is occasionally here doing research for us. Tyler. <laughs> yeah, shout out our research assistants, Tyler. Is that we're gonna call our assistant. audiences? Audience, the Tylers. No, we're not calling. We're not giving Tyler the name of our audience. Hello, Tyler's. No, we said he was going to be the downfall of our podcast. We're not giving him more power than he needs. You're right. Okay, guys, this is a good podcast. All right, we're guys, stop here. Yeah, we're not. We're cutting those bits. We used to do the weather and stuff. We're yeah. not doing that no more. I, we had an we had an extra long intro. To we had an extra long intro. I think we're just going to cut that out. We had a lot of things. We're going to close it out with the follows. Follow on SoundCloud once again. I think. 
Also, count how many times we plugged our podcast in this episode. Three or five times. Yeah, so count the count the count the disconnects, count the plugs. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Bye. Wow, we sit on time. That's yeah, so wow. That's crazy. Okay. Bye guys. Bye guys.